We're at McDermott Park here in episode 16 of the Rangers career mode and it's a massive episode, right? McDermott Park can kind of get pushed to one side because we're going to win. Right, let's make no mistake about it. But we've got Celtic. The gap is 12 points. We've got game in hand and we play them in the second game of this episode at Ibrox. It's as simple. It, it needs to be six points. If it's not, I think the league's over. And it's mad to think that. How it could be over already in like what episode 16 that we're in here, but you know, what I'm noticing, I think this year fitness is like a key part of the game. I'm noticing that like you're, you're playing midweek games, see by the time it gets to that Sunday, a lot of your team you have to swap about. And I, I like that, I like the fact you have to use your squad. I hate having bloated squads that you can't, you can't really use because you know the rest of the team are shite and that oh, your, your main squad are fully fit. Um, I mean, we only have suffered the one injury to be fair, but Stevie May, he's trying to uh, injure my fucking brain here with a goal, but thankfully, oh my god, Jackie boy, Jackie boy Butland, my arse nearly collapsed there, it's at the Ahmed Diallo, let me skip him here, oh Diallo, Diallo's going on a wee bit of a solo run, oh he almost did, curled outside the boot and I don't understand this, gimmick of lag, in the offline games, I don't it happened against. Was it Betis? A bit of lag in it. You'd, you'd wonder why there's lag. You would. You, you seriously would. A Sprangler is on the ball. Stevie May. Trying to sort of pass it here. It's Nicky Clark, but it's intercepted there by Connor Goldson. That shiftless fuck that gave away the penalty against Hearts has really put this shit storm in motion. It really has. I mean, we'd be absolutely flying. Well, maybe not flying, like, but the gap would be. We could close it to three this episode if if Connor Goldson doesn't give that penalty away, but he did, so we've just got to deal with it. But, uh, I mean, first of all, we've got to deal with St Johnston as they are. Oh my god, we've won the ball. Oh, Seema. Oh, Dujon. Dujon! What are you doing? Well, a good place to win it back, and let's see what it leads to. Seema. Shankland. Oh, it's a good. Oh, I mean, is it a good save? Or is it just shite for Shankland, man? He's won the ball. Beal can't believe that the shot was so shit. Neither can I. Corona, though, this header's in. Watch this. Seema, don't miss! Apart from that time. Normally, if he corners, Seema pretty much bangs everyone in he connects with, but that one has went afar. And Seema doesn't know what happened. It's Mitov. Launches up, of course. Mitov, I believe he's the Bulgarian goalkeeper, got called up to the, the national team. So, St Johnson doing something right there with our goalie. I think, he, I think he is a decent goalie, but when you play for St Johnson, I mean, what chance have you really got? You're going to be conceding goals left, left, right, and centre. Sterling finds Diallo, and now it's Shankland who skips into that space. It's Lauren Shankland, and how the fuck is Liam Gordon? Got across to that. Someone enlightened me, but Connor Goldson's like, nah. Connor Goldson is fucking shite. That's what he is. And now it's Diallo. Forces a great save out of Mitov, the Bulgarian. Going ballistic. And now it's Corona. Launched in. Shankland. Again, another free header here for a corner. Not really being marked by St Johnston. And we're yet to do anything with it, man. It needs to be going into the back of the net. And it hasn't. It's disgraceful. It is absolutely dog shite. That's what it is. Dog shite is boof. Goes past Corona. Now Alvarez. I think it all went downhill once we start taking those guys off against Hearts. That's for sure. Is that uh, who's this? John John Sutter. Fucking hell. John Sutter, man, out muscled, out gunned, everything there. Diallo. Almost cost us big time. But see, look at Seema, man. Just fucking said that guy left and right. Guy doesn't know what he's doing. Right, come on, Seema. Get that across. Really well I get that across, man. Should be a simple ball to Shankland. Really should be. Look at this fucker, man. Whipping out the McGeady spins. Look at that! That is fucking shite. That's what that is. That's never offside, man. No one in a million years is that offside. Look at this. Where are they drawing these lines from? I need to know. I need to know. Do need to know, man. It's fucking embarrassing. Oh, man, but it's intercepted. Shankland, he just keeps winning this ball high up, man. He's just not got the... Oh, my God. Lauren Shankland. 
35 minutes on the clock and are you as nervous? Because I'm a bit fucking nervous. What a fuck, really nervous? There's John Sterling though, nice wee turn. Diallo. Sima. Shankland, how is me to have saving that? Shankland, you're a fucking striker. You need to be banging that in. Only cleared as far as Raskin. Went for a pass, but we thought better of it. Oh my god, Shankland gets cleaned out, but you know what? It's a decent, decent bit of defending there for St Johnston. Effective press. I think that's going to go to play. Yeah, he runs out, man. What is he doing? And we need a goal. Why are the goals drying up for us all of a sudden? Is it because fucking Danilo's injured? Could be, but Seema's away! Seema wrecking St Johnston! And he puts it right into the bread basket. The bread is in date. It's no out of date. It's 1 now, and that's what we need it, man. Just before half time, that's what we really, really need it. And that's what we've got. Abdullah Seema. Loving life. So are we. What a goal that was. What a goal. Now hopefully we can build on that for St Johnston out from the back. And we can... Oh God. What's that all about? Oh, we've won it. Ah, referee blows the half time whistle. But we'll, we'll accept that. We'll accept it. You'll accept it, man. That's what you've got to do. Here and there. See, I think Seema's acting pretty good this season in his career mode. Will we make it permanent? I mean, I'm not too sure. He is 71 rated, and like I know it should really go on more than who's performing, but the whole gimmick of Kareem with man, you want to, you, know, you want to make people, you want to get the higher ratings in. That's that's the objective, isn't it? Even though that sounds stupid, like doesn't shouldn't really matter about the overall of the performing, but yeah, let's see what he does. Let's look at his stats at the end of the season compared to everyone else, and if he's better than some people, I think we'll uh, give him the wee nod, but. Here he is, going on a wee bit of a run here, he's skipping past men, left, right and centre, man, what a run, he, he went on there. Now it's Diallo, to the back post, Corona, Corona, just man, just no happening, Seema tries to get across, Clark, now we need to intercept this, Goldson can't, it's Sprangler, it's Jameson, it's Alvarez, no, no, oh my fucking god, Jack Butland in no man's land. And Rangers, after such a hard worked first half, in order to get the fucking job done, it's disgraceful, man. It really is. Shite. Shite is what it is. And now we've got all that work to do. Yeah, again, I just don't understand the lag, though. I mean, we're offline. Fuck off, man. That's what I'm talking about, Dujon. Good bad play. Diallo. Through to Shankland. I think he should be getting that. Fantastic right, well, let's fucking big Alvarez, ah. Fucking praise that guy, man. Look, look at that fucking suitor getting sent in. And Clark. Goldson, mate. If there's ever a time for you to fucking step up, it's new. Jack Butland. Jack Butland needs his melon looked at for letting that in, man. That is fucking shite. That's what that is. Fucking dog shit, door gets slammed, the manager's fuming, Beal's doing the fucking touch room, man, touch room, he's doing the dress, he's in the dressing room, he doesn't know what's going on, look at this, Jack Butlin's fuck, it's, no, see, see Casper Smichael, he'll get signed, I'm not afraid to get rid of people, because I tell you what, we could be about to get fucking rid of ourselves here, look at that, it's fucking shite, Oh my god, we need to keep the head. We're 30 minutes, man, to get two goals. Right, Shankland, give it to him. On a silver platter. Lauren Shankland, two each. Right, we're back in it. 30 minutes to get one goal. Relax. Michael Beale's back out the dressing room. He's happy. He's a happy bunny. Well, I think he'd be happier if it was free too, but my god. Not ideal. You know, I just. I just think that the, the I just think the goalkeepers at the near post are fucking shocking this year, man. I do. This is played across the corona. It's going past. Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh! 
Dujon Sterling. I mean, you know what? This technique of the shot was actually a lot better than I thought for a right back with no finishing ability would be. But Lauren Shanklin tries to get on it. Raskin. Oh. Oh. Corona. Fuck me, man. How's he missed that? Golson tries to get across, and that's Brown. It's awful from a St. Johnson perspective. It's Lauren Shanklin. It's Lauren Shanklin. It's Lauren Shanklin! And he shanks it fucking wide, man. Um, I'm going to bring on Kamar Roof. Maybe asking Kamar Roof, the guy that's been sold. Yes, the guy that has been sold. He's coming on. Last time he came on for one game, he got sent off. Roof, it's time to redeem yourself. We are attempting here to do your legacy a favour, big man. And are you going to do it? Who knows? But we've won the ball there with Corona, even though I don't think we did. <laughs> It's out to Lauren Shanklin, what a ball! And he drags it wide. He drags it fucking wide. Honestly, like, what is that all about? It's not good enough. I'm going to bring in Sefentes for Raskin. Ah, uh, use of a substitution. I cannot believe that's no one in, by the way. Um, as Mitov launches it up, man. And, you know what, most of our shots, I mean, a couple of good saves for the goalie, but most of them have just been... Most, most of our shots in this game have been... Absolute shite as it's out to Alvarez. Yes! I thought Corona put it wide. I thought he did, but it's the Mexican connection. The Mexican connection. With the goal, it's 3 2. Alvarez cut it back. I mean, honestly, I think it should have been the Shankland at the far back post. I thought it was almost good night, but he kisses Rugby Park. I don't know. Or Rugby Park. McDermott Park. I don't know why he's kissing it, man. Do not know why he's kissing it, but I think we need to go off, ultra attack and back them to balance. We slide in there, almost give it, oh fucking hell, McPherson now, up against Julian Alvarez. Whipped in. That could have been, that could have been shite for us. It could have been. John Sutter though, launches it forward. Right, let's make it 4-2. One Alvarez, boom. Good bit of triangle of play. Great bit of triangle of play. Alvarez, and then it's just a pass like that that fucking drags the soul clean out of you. Oh, tackle our own man, brilliant. That's what I'm talking about. Trying to get across. Brilliant from Zaventes. That's what you get brought on to do, son. That is what you need to be doing when you get brought on. Great run for Corona. He's away. He's past St. Johnston. So, Corona! Oh, what a goal! And that is the difference when you have someone that's like 80 rated. They can just dra run the ball forward, cut in, get on their favourite foot, and put it into the back of the net. And it is 4 2. And that's a double for him. Well, at least a double. I know he scored two. 21 metres to goal. <laughs> Lovely goal. Can't complain with that. Indeed you cannot. It's Nicky Clark. Now we've got five minutes remaining. Doesn't matter, man. The game is won. Once you make it 4 2 at party time. Out to Corona. Tries a bit of skill. Doesn't really work for him. It's up to Booth. Suter forcing him out wide. Played forward, though. Connor Golds. Fucking hell. Stevie May. It's not really worked out for St Johnston here though. And it's out to Corona. Corona slips it through to Lauren Shankland. He's up against Gordon, but Gordon has been sent. Lauren Shankland forcing a good save at Meetov. Brown doesn't dive in. Andy Considine. Oh, the whistle ref. Right through the back here. Who cares? I'm going to try to get stuck in the Seema referee here, man. You've got to do something about it. You've got to do something about it, buddy. Launched up. And that we go, guys. We close the gap to nine points to Celtic now. And it just makes this game even better. I mean, how depressing would it have been if we dropped points here? We're almost not the old one would have been irrelevant, but it's like, fuck. We're just going to be back at square one. But Hibs and Aberdeen draw here. And now we move up closer to Christmas Day. I believe this game is the 23rd of December, nine points, it just needs to be a win, it really does, is jo is, what about Casper Schmeichel, does he get back to his yet? No, risk of losing four players, um, let's see here financially, I don't really want to lose anybody, 
Um, fucking hell, there's a lot of players on the way. Um, of course, Dial, um, Barisic is away. Join Corona, John Lundstrom, Delegate Renewal. I will accept John Lundstrom. John Lundstrom. Come on, Roof's away. Delegate Renewal with Ryan Jack. Um, Balogun, I'm not bothered. I'm sorry, man. I just, I just, I just don't. I mean, and Thiago Silva saying that oh, we've we've recently negotiated with him, so we can't even fucking sign him on a one-year deal, and now we can't even fucking keep him. Man, what's that about? But up next it is the old farm. The question is, what sort, what team do you play here? What team do you play? I mean, I guess got to be a pretty much a similar team to what just featured there. Um, Sima, I mean, I'm going to probably keep him on the bench. Anybody here worthy of a spot? Not really. I'm, I mean, I just look at the reserves and I'm like, that truly is the job squad. So that's what we're going to leave there. And we're going to dive into this old farm at Ibrox. Here we go at Ibrox. So Celtic await. This is going to be an absolute belter. Well, I say a belter. If we lose, I'm, I'm not even going to want to talk about this game. And uh, as per usual, just like in the uh, the Parkhead game, I forgot to switch the kits, but who cares? We're on the home kit. We've got Beal. We've got Rogers arguing with each other. I just hope at the end of the game we're arguing about how many goals we scored because we've scored that many and I forgot to count them. But Celtic, you know, they do sit nine points clear. We need to win this. There's a lot of pressure on this game as Tab puts his body across, deals with James Forrest, man, they're fucking starting James Forrest, man, Jesus, Celtic are getting stuck in, letting us know that there's going to be no messing about here, Greg Taylor, fucking hell, man, Greg Taylor said in this left, right and centre, Forrest, and it's Kyogo, tries a chip inside the six yard box, well, it looked like a chip, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say it was the greatest effort there for Kyogo, but Tell you what, we need a wee bit more here as James Tavernier. We're on the counter, he slipped it through to Lauren Shankland. And Carter Fickers can't quite... It's... Dome, what the fuck are you doing? What is Diallo doing? And it's the fact that it's not even like he left it for a corner. It's actually been jobbed clean and utterly out. They've won the header there, but it's not really... Went anywhere, Catwell tries to do something out to Wata. We win the tackle, but I mean, we win a few tackles there, but they'll do an awful lot with it, man. Um, pretty, pretty unlucky there, but I mean, in terms of the start of the game, I think both teams could argue they should be ahead. Probably more Celtic, I think that Kyogo chance is really, really a big blunder, as Thiago Silva's dealt with it. Now, oh, here we go, it is James Tatvenier on the ball, throws up the Corona. Here we go, the Taizu's Corona. It's a back, now it's Shankland. And if he could just unleash Corona, he's up against Phillips. Doesn't have much pace, but he's got enough pace to deal with that. As Diallo tries to get across, can't quite get across. Now it's Johnson, Johnson, it's Johnson. I'm so used to that Johnson guy for the, uh, last year's career. Corona, Shankland. That's pish, isn't it? It's pants, it's dug me. It's shite, Alistair Johnson through to Maida. That's Yilmaz trying to get across to his man. Can't quite. He does, he does. Yilmaz. Fuck off, Yilmaz. Oh, I hope Yilmaz. Oh, Yilmaz is injured. That's with Sol Barisic. Fuck me, man. It looked a bad tackle. It really did. But you know what? No, I had in mind. I had in mind that we could bring in Josh Dodge. I might do that. Um, Might need to. To be honest, yeah, not looking good. Yilmaz has to leave the pitch. But we've got Alvarez, you know, brought him in free agent not too long ago, so that's a decent enough signing there. You know, it's how Yilmaz get injured. I mean, it, it did look quite bad. It did look quite bad. That looks like a big, serious knee injury. I mean, it looks very similar, actually, to what happened to Danilo. And, uh, of course, we know Danilo's been out for a long time, so that's not good. I mean, of course, Barisic is leaving us in literally about a week's time. Um, he is away to Girona. And that'll be us without a left back. Now we do have good full backs, like I say, I mean, oh, fuck me, man. We're on a play. Like, we just did bring in Alvarez and he can do a job there, but I think we'll go for Josh Deutsch. I think we'll go for Josh Deutsch, because we could bring in Josh Deutsch. That's when we've got him, Yilmaz, and the right backs. You know, you've got Alvarez and Tav, and they're pretty great options. And of course, you've got a young, few youngsters there. But Corona, skip my way here for your Wata. And Corona is. Oh, Joe. Oh, it's Joe Hart then, then. Fuck it. As long as Corona didn't go down injured. 
I might have start bricking it, but Todd Campbell launches it in. Thiago Silva, Shankland, Diallo. I mean, Celtic are just getting it clear. We try and win it. Oh my God, not with the Cal McGregor. He can't quite do it. But to Dyson my that he's the bastard. He's the bastard that injured, injured, injured. Our left back. It's whipped in at the back post. It's cracked. Jack Butling deals with James Forrest. Doesn't know quite know what's going on there. Thiago Silva out to James Tavernier for the Corona, and he's unleashed. Lauren Shankland, who's beat Nat Phillips, man, and Shankland to cement himself as a Rangers man. Oh, ah, Shanky boy, what are you doing? Is that a good save for Joe or is it shite for Shanklin? Leave your thoughts down below. That's not good for Joe. Overhead kick. Why well, I think it was in. I thought the overhead kick was in. The Rangers, he's pushing him. He's like, what the fuck? How's it not going in? I'm not quite thinking that myself. Joe's on the deck. We've went for the spectacular, but it's been saved. It's been dealt with as Joe Hart now launches a ball over to Awata. It seems like everything Celtic do is going through Awata at this current minute of time. But we've won it. Oh, we're not certain, but there's too much on it. Or is there? Nico Raskin. Nico Raskin. Fuck off, Joe. Nico Raskin, man. What are you playing at, son? What are you playing at? The ball's been won. Oh, yes, it has been won. Corona. Oh, it's a brilliant tack. I tell you what, man. It's been a very nervy game. I think Celtic know that if they win this... You know, title at 54 for them, I think it what they'll be on. It's becoming a reality. Now it's Kyogo. Thiago Silva drills it out to Corona. You know, Corona's going on a year on himself. I'm on Corona. Corona's loving life. Corona into the middle. And now it's Diallo! What is happening, man? Deflections galore. And I think the second one was offside, but I just think we've got to be scoring them opportunities, man. We can't afford to be not. This is to Cal McGregor. And now I try and dive in. Can't quite dive in. Who, James Forrest? Tavernier, man. How the fuck are you getting sent by James Forrest in 2023? What is going on? And it's a water, thank God. He's blazed it over. And, I mean, at least we're keeping it at 0-0. We're not conceding. I mean, if this was Celtic Park, I think the score was already 3-0 by this point. Shanklin, man. Oh, brilliant with it. We've won it there. And now it's slipped through the Corona. Surely, Celtic caught at the back. And it's dragged wide. Ah, fuck me, man. What is it we are finishing? I, mean, I don't even know what Brendan's talking about there, but he's probably talking about the fact how shite I am at this game. Because that would make sense as Joe Hart launches it. And uh, that is the halftime whistle, man. And the most thing of note there is that we just can't take our chances and Alvarez had to come on for an injured Yilmaz. Well, yeah, Todd Cantwell, come on son. Big, big performance this second half and you can post whatever you want to Instagram. Fucking hell, that's shite. It really is, it's McGregor now and Jack. No, no happening there. Turnbull, McGregor, now it's Nico Raskin. One there for Jack. Wait for the Cantwell. Goes down. Wins the free kick. Carter Fickers picking up the book and at Calvin Bass. He's going to drill it into Nico Raskin. And he slips it through to James Tavern. What is with the finishing? I need to know what's up with the finishing. The finishing is. Look at that. I couldn't ask for a better ball for a free kick. And our captain, Captain Shitebag, is absolutely blazed it over man we've won that right come on Diallo somebody Diallo I mean look at that it's a finesse it just didn't cow Diallo I'm a Diallo can't quite believe it I can because every shot has been shite and you can just see us ending nil nil can man it's Tavernier though he's won it James Tavernier fucking hell James Tavernier mate you are pants Jack it's Cantwell David Turnbull David Turnbull David, David Turnbull oh Diallo and it's through for Cantwell to 
Bloody Lauren Shankland! And on off the post, finally, we get the goal we deserve against Celtic. The crowds go ballistic. Let's run over to the 800. Manky mob. And let them know who's the daddy. It's Lauren Shankland, that's who it is. What a goal. Look at that. Loving life, man. Todd Cartwell post that to Insta. He's lined up there, Shankland. And he's really beginning to step up now that Danilo's out injured. He really is. His uh, ball is played back there. To Alata and now Jack. Forward to Diallo. Can't well try to flick it through to Raskin initially. Oh. Back. Oh. Not really happening there. I don't even know why I stopped the switch, to be honest. It just all it did was put me back a bit. Now it's with the James Forrest. Got a question. Brendan Rodgers is. His methods here is Thiago Silva misses in the slide tackle. Ryan Jack trying to get back to James Forrest. James Forrest, Jack Butlin, what are you doing? Honestly, man. What are you doing? It's Alvarez. So to Diallo. He's managed to find Cantwell, but he is. What is Todd Cantwell all about here? Trying to get it through to Diallo. <laughs> Looked like a handball for caught me. Look at Dragging me to the ground goes Alistair Johnson. Fucking great tackle there for Raskin. And I think we're going to make a wee triple for maybe a, a, a five substitutions. But no, I've already made the one with Alvarez. Right, so we're going to take off Corona for Matondo. We're going to bring on Seema for Shanklin for a bit of that counter-attack pace. We'll, we'll bring on Dessers and we'll switch Dessers and Seema a bit. Uh, and then we'll bring on Kieran Dial in there. Big right, Kieran Dial. So James Forrest, what can he fucking hell? What I mean, Tavernier has not had James Forrest's number all night. Let's leave it at that. Tiago Silva though, he's the guy with all the numbers. He's like a fucking a yellow, the yellow pages. That's what Tiago Silva's like. Oh, Raskin catches Phillips. No, Forrest. It's been won by Corona. High up the pitch, slips it through to Shankland. He's going to try and burst past. Carter Fickers here. Shankland. Oh. Raskin. Oh, I tell you what, that would have been top bins, top bread basket. Tavernier needs to stop getting sent by James Forrest, man. Yeah, I will solve this though. He's the man. He'll deal with James Forrest. Or will he? Kyogo. Oh, no. No. Jack Botland saves it. 15 minutes ago, Raskin picks up a booking. This could be a crucial win here in the title race. David Turnbull to whip it in, passes it short, decides to go with Maida. we we'll clear it. The referees gave a free kick. What could he possibly have given for you? Well, he's gave it to Celtic. I knew he was going to give it to Celtic. He wasn't going to give it to us. Launched in, Jack Butland gets his hands on it. And he's flicked it through to Alvarez. Who's Alvarez has sent Mikey Johnson. Julian Alvarez, the new right back. Going himself, there's no one really there for him. And it's just the problem. You've got someone who's not really an expertise in shooting. Is it Julian Alvarez? Why does his name get a K? Is it Kevin Alvarez? Is it Marcus Alvarez? That's the only fucking Alvarez I want playing for my team. El Padrino. El Padrino, amigo. Who knows, Carter Vickers runs out of play. No, it's Alvarez. Hopefully that didn't prove to be too... Oh, shit. Oh, my God. He's tried to play through Seema. Seema's fucking bottled it for him. Seema diving in. Rangers I mean, probably leaving a bit too many bodies up the top here. Kyogo trying to find the pass. Well, it's over, shit, shit, it's through the Kyogo. Calvin Bassey gets across, puts his body on the line. And now it's Greg Taylor to whip it in. Five minutes to go, do not want to concede here. It's clear as far as Tavernier. Oh, Tav, what are you doing? That's what you're doing. I mean, I won the ball, man. I mean, how do you, I mean, if you deem it that bad, right, that I went through the back game, but one, how are you giving me a warning? I mean, how are you giving me a warning? Nah. 
heart in my f heart in my stuff. Kyogo has missed an absolute glaring opportunity, man. All he's got to do is put it in that corner. I said that like it was simple. I mean, for him, it probably was simple, but Alvarez. Oh, Galvarez, mate, you can't be losing it there. Well, on the attack, hunting for a late equaliser here. Cross could be useful. That's fucking soul destroying. That is absolutely fucking depressed me, man. I think it's Rio Atati who's put it in the back, then it? It's an absolute shiter. And that's Alvarez. But, you know, we've only got ourselves to, we can't blame the one guy. I mean, let's be real. We have missed so many opportunities in this game to go, like, 2-0 up, man. It's been a joke. Serial Dessers. Serial Dessers. What the fuck's he doing, man? That's not even funny. I can't believe we've drew that. The gap remains at nine points. Oh my god. Yeah, why are you even talking to him, mate? Don't even talk to him. Don't talk to strangers. Thiago Silver, son. His Hearts win 2 0, and Motherwell win, Aberdeen win. What does that do for the league table? I mean, that's the way like nine points is the gap. Should have been inflicting a fucking defeat on those bastards. And we didn't. So, let's see here. We've. Casper Schmeichel. Negotiate. Negotiate. Wait, no, fuck, I just need to accept it, didn't I? Fuck's sake, what am I doing? Well, that's what they wanted, so. What the, what's going on with him? There's a guy, it's just Ross Kemp sitting there with no head. Right, delegate. Give him that. Big Casper Schmeichel offer him way more money than he needs. And I think we'll put in a wee bid for Josh Doidge. Oh, we're not yet, actually. We'll, we'll advance up to this at Livingston game. Yufeko, um New York City, with an option to buy. But let's see how... Yeah, so you'll mass it for two months. Not exactly ideal, guys. Really not ideal. Especially that prick Alvarez who cost us the goal. But anyway, that is it for this career mode part. Until next time. Peace.